Okay, guys, I'm just going to run through a couple of things with you, um, some tips and some advice regarding experimenting. Um, you've been asked to experiment with sort of three focus areas. One is the font, the actual letter forms, the shapes, why you've picked the fonts that you've picked, or indeed that you're going to make your own fonts um, and why you're going to make them look the way you want them to look. One of them is layout and one of them is, I've said colour, but maybe it's a different sort of set of formal elements. There might be things like line or other things in there that you um, want to consider. Um, so when it comes to font, um, obviously you'll be aware that you can choose to um, pick a font from the list of fonts. So if we were going to work with uh, the type tool, which I've used here, a bit of type here and I've just written personal investigation, we can select from our list of fonts and we can find something that we like the look of and we can obviously um, change it. Now you may or may not be aware that you can add to your list of fonts in Adobe uh, by going to the Adobe Fonts website and choosing additional and you um, can get them to, to add to your list. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to do that for those of you who are interested. So I'll leave that there. Um, so if you go to fonts.adobe.com or you can Google type kit, um, this is the website you're after. You need to sign in. So if you're logged in, I'm logged in here with my college login, you can continue with Google um, and you should be able to get straight in there. So what we have here is additional fonts and we can um, browse fonts, which is what I'm doing here. We can choose sample text. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog is all the letters in the alphabet. Or you could choose some sample text. So you could say personal investigation for example we can see what they're going to look like and then here's some um, things that you can think about so in terms of tags look, there's lots of different things that you might look at so let's just say for example I was looking for something um, rough if I like any of these I could let's say for example I like well, it doesn't really matter whether I do or I don't but let's just say I like this one I'm going to view the family And then it's showing me uh, capital, showing me in examples, etc. And um, down here, it's showing me that I could have it in bold, I can have it in a mix, and I can have it in regular. If I only wanted one of those, I could activate them as singulars. Or if I wanted to activate all three of those, all three different character styles applied to that one font, I'm just going to hit here, activate font, OK that. And then I should be able to find what's this called type ka i should then find this in my list of fonts if it's not here immediately if i close photoshop and open it it will be so i'm hoping that it is for the sake of demo is it here it is look at that perfect okay so um that's how you can get fonts from adobe you can also, um, and this comes with a word of warning, you can also use websites, and I've put these on the PowerPoint, such as um, the font. These websites are obviously you're downloading from the internet, so you need to decide whether you want to download to your computers or whether you've got... Um, whether you've got malware and, you know, um, security on your computers or not you're going to need to be the person who makes that decision but here is a range of um additional fonts and you can see up here that there's lots of different tags for these so let's say i was looking for something graffiti like um, if i wanted to preview my text here personal investigation submit um, now i can view these in tiny small medium or large let's say for example i wanted to view them large then what I could do, I could separate this out into two words. If I wanted to do, the reason I'm saying this is because what we could do if we don't want to download, and especially if we're at college where we can't download from a site like this, we could potentially take one of these if we liked it. So let's say we liked this one. I could um, zoom in to get this to be as large as possible on my screen and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot so I'm going to do a snipping tool those of you on Mac you're going to need to know how to do this on a Mac google it I don't know off the top of my head but what I can do is I can copy paste 
paste. And what I've got here, it's not type, so if I've made a spelling mistake on it, I can't um, change that. But I can go back and, and respell it, I suppose, on the website. But what I've got here is then um, pixels that are um, in the shape of letters. It is a bit pixelated. It's a screenshot from a screen. But in terms of experimenting and, and sort of playing around, the quality, I think, is good enough. Um, now, what I've got here is this white background because I've copied and pasted. I'm going to select the white in the background using my magic wand. I'm going to select similar, all of the white, please. And then I'm just going to hit delete on my keyboard. And what that leaves me is just the outline there, which is what I was hoping for. What I've then got options to do is to select, let's say, just the black. And I'm going to select a bit using my magic wand and select similar. And then what I have there is the selection, which if I wanted to then change the color of the type, let's say that I did want to, I can do that. Oh, that's not the one I want. I want a paintbrush. Um, make that a bit smaller. I'll stick with that brush. I don't know what the brush is, but we'll go for it and test it and see. So I could make changes. For example, I'm going to control D to deselect. And then I've got... Um, something that I've, that I've done something to. So that's um, a couple of ways of using internet fonts that may not already be on your computer. And obviously you can, if you're happy to, you can obviously download from these sites, uh, if I just zoom back out. Um, you can download and then it will give you the option um, if you download to I'll make that a bit bigger to show you. I uh, can't remember what I do. I think do I need to extract it? I haven't done this for a while. Yeah, and then it's telling me where do I where do you want to put it so we can extract it, and then you can. Um, it should then show up in your um, in your fonts list as well. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'll stop this video here and then show you a quick demo in terms of editing um, fonts in other ways.